up everybody? Welcome back to the 31 Days of Horror. I am your host Moon616 and thank you once again for stopping in guys. Yes, day 23 here on the 31 Days of Horror Volume 3 and I've got one here from 2011 and it is simply titled The Millennium Bug. Yes, love the artwork on there. It's very simple but it's kind of cool. Uh, get into the synopsis of The Millennium Bug. Uh, this one follows a family. Now, this father has decided in the light of the Y2K scare, yes, this film takes place on December 31st of 1999. Um, so, in the light of the Y2K scare, he feels that moving his family out to this isolated area in the, in the mountains for a weekend of camping is probably the best idea, just in case some shit goes down with the Y2K. So, that's what he's done. Uh, he's, you know, taken his family out there. But they do not know that there is this redneck hillbilly inbred family out there that are dealing with some issues of their own. Uh, they're having issues with, um, you know, extending the family. Every baby that they've, they've been having has been deformed and just not worthy of living. So now they're on the prowl for some new blood. They're looking for some new women to impregnate to continue their family along. And yeah, so, and then on a linear storyline, we also follow this doctor who is out in the same woods and he has been tracking this potential monster, this birthing of this monster for like 20 years. So he's out there and he's documenting everything with his cameras and stuff. And uh, so essentially what happens here is this redneck family ends up kidnapping the mother and daughter of this family, taking them back to their place where they start to fuck with them and stuff. And then, you know, it kind of turns into a creature feature. <laughs> so that is the synopsis of the film here. So my thoughts on this one, Man, this is a fun-ass film. I really enjoyed the shit out of this one. I love the fact that the construction of this film, I love that we follow all these different linear storylines. You know, we got this family, we got the rednecks, we've got this, this doctor dude out in, the, out in the forest. And it, it makes the pacing of the film super good, man. Like, I mean, sometimes when you do these things, it can kind of slow down because you kind of forget about your characters and things like that. This one moves along at a rapid pace. I mean, they get right into it right away. Once the family's out there, they celebrate their New Year's, and then they just get abducted. Like, right away, this redneck family takes them, starts fucking with them and stuff like that. And it's fantastic. And meanwhile, all this is going on. The earth is rumbling. There's something about to happen. I really enjoy this film, man. First up, the setting of the film is fantastic. It's set in this, like, rural forest area. It's really dark. It's pretty much all set at night. And it just it's very atmospheric. And the aesthetics of the film are just fantastic. Acting in the film, also really well done. I think the redneck still is showing this one. Um, they're fantastic. I mean, if it's the deformed ones or like the old man, old lady, like just everything about them is just so grotesque and you can't help but look at them. <laughs> you know, you just, you can't keep your eyes off them. They're just so disgusting and, and just perfect for the roles. I think that they do a really, really great job with this one. But the main feature in this film has got to be the fact that it is simply a creature feature at the end of the day. Uh, I love this, man. This movie was done all practical effects, whether it be like the blood and gore from all the kills with the humans, or, um, you know, the monster itself is actually done all practical also, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm a really big fan of when you're watching creature features that they do practical effects, especially when they take that extra, that extra drive, they use that extra drive to, you know, create miniatures and things like that to accentuate the size of the monsters. It's all present here. It's all present. It's really fucking well done. It's awesome. Um, it's an interesting construction to the film, too, because the monster ends up being birthed, like, you know, pretty much in the third act of the film. So, the whole lead-up to that is this family just fucking with, you know, these women, and, of course, the father's trying to save them, and now the doctor's involved and things like that. So, most of the film is that, but then it changes gears, like, instantly. I think this is really cool. There's not a lot of films like this where it kind of... Uh, integrates subgenres. You know, you got the hillbilly redneck subgenre with a creature feature and actually does it well. You know, there's really nothing to complain about this film. I think it's fantastic. Through and throughout, pacing's fa fantastic. The music's great. Like I said, the, the isolated feels fantastic in this film. And um, yeah, man, just awesome. Just totally, totally awesome. The whole third act is just totally sweet, and it's got a great ending, too. The ending's awesome, also. And that's one thing with these type of films. Sometimes they can just get so stupid and uh, just not... Be I mean, believable is kind of an... I guess you got to <laughs> set yourself apart from the word believable, but when you're dealing with huge birth monsters from the Earth. But um, 
yeah, man, I can't really say a whole lot of bad things about Millennium Bug. Fantastic film. I like the fact that they, they made a horror film about the Y2K scare, the Y2 chaos. Uh, that's pretty cool. There's not really a whole lot of these, and this is probably maybe the best one. <laughs> I'm assuming that it is. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed the shit out of this, man. I give him all the props in the world. Big ups for the practical effects, and, uh, I'm gonna come in about an 8.5 out of 10 on this one. This is honestly one of my favorite creature features I've seen in such a long time. You know, I think a lot of problems that stem from creature features is that they just don't take the time to do the film properly. I mean, it's so much easier to hire a geek to, to make to do the aesthetics for a film, you know, create a whole digital background and digital monsters and effects and things like that. It's just not, for me, I'm not appreciated of, of that type of shit. This is the type of film that I appreciate and it worked out really well. I think everything about this one's fantastic. So if you've never seen this one, give it a shot. It's really awesome stuff. Yeah, eight and a half out of 10, the Millennium Bug. Don't want to say anything else about it. So go out, grab a copy, check it out for yourself. You probably will not be disappointed if you like rednecks and you like creature features. So that's going to do it, guys, for day 23 here on the 31 Days of Horror Volume. Trey, be back tomorrow with an oldie but probably a goodie. Peace!